Hi, welcome to tdcat.com. Today, we're looking at this, a really simple object from Canon. It's an extension tube. It's the EF252 extension tube. And all it does is allow a lens to sit 25 millimeters further away than it would normally. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So I have my macro lens here on my 5D. I'm gonna take that off. And the extension tube just attaches exactly where your lens would normally attach. And the lens goes on like that. So you end up with a lens that's a little bit longer and a little bit further away. What's the point? Well, magnification. So it is really designed for macro because it allows you greater magnification, but only at the closer focal uh, distances. Your maximum focal distance is reduced and your minimum is reduced so you can focus closer but you also can't get your maximum focal distance so what that basically means is you can't just whack one of these on a on a lens and expect to get magnification of a kind of 200 mil lens and and bump it up a bit because you just won't be able to use the lens because anything you take that's far away won't focus so it only is really for macro use what i want to do actually today is look at the resulting images. I just want to take maybe two images of some objects close up, one with this fitted, one without it fitted, just to show you the difference. So this is the kind of magnification you can expect from the Canon EF25 II extension tube. Right, so here we are in Lightroom and I've imported the uh, six images that I took in total. Uh, two, three of them with the EF25 II extension tube and three of them without. And I've, I've made some effort to keep the framing the same, but uh, it's not perfect. It, but the point here is that it gives you an idea of what you will really see as the difference when you're using this. So not quoting figures, not quoting sort of times, you know, you get an extra times this. What are you going to see when you take a shot? And... Uh, Excuse my macro photography here, because these really aren't of anything interesting. So firstly, I took a picture of the side of a whiskey bottle. And these are straight out of the camera, so I haven't sort of processed these in any way. And this, this was taken, as you can see there, at f10. And four second exposure, ISO 100, to try and keep it nice and clean. It wasn't too light where I was, but it was light enough. Still needed four seconds. The second one is that. So there we go. That's how much you uh, gain. That's how much you zoom in. All I've done is take the lens and set it to its minimal focus, focus distance and then focus on the same thing. So you'll notice that the, the light fall off of having the lens further away from the sensor meant that I have to then use six seconds exposure for that, for, uh, for that one. Then I took a picture of a cherry tomato to because uh, I, I was sort of thinking oh, I need something with some scale really which I did in the last one there of the pencil uh, this didn't really work but <laughs> hopefully you get the idea so this is a cherry tomato and then we were able to take that with the extension tube so I mean it's quite a noticeable difference there isn't there you know it's not it's not an insignificant amount particularly if you're using a high megapixel camera, uh, the 5D is only, for the 5D3 is only what, 20, 22, 24 megapixel? If you're using kind of 50, 50 plus, then that much difference in your uh, lens, with your lens is, uh, on magnification, is going to give you some noticeable extra detail if that's what you're searching for. So if we zoom in on this picture and let it render itself, you can see there's a reasonable amount of detail there. Don't know what of. It's just a, these are kind of dried out. I think these. The ch tomato looks okay, but all the leaves have dried out now. Right. The last one is of a pencil. That's actually. That's, I like that. Nice colours on that. And we can see if we zoom in, got a reasonable amount of detail. And then that is what we took with the extension tube attached. So again, a fair amount of difference. Probably more than I expected actually. Uh, the pencil was angled slightly off here, so that's why this is out of focus, even, even at f10. Even at f10. So this one is 8 seconds at f10. 
So we've pushed it up to, uh, we've sort of reduced the aperture to eight, um, f10, and even that is still out of focus. You know, that's what we're talking about. A really shallow, razor thin depth of field. But uh, there's, you can see the fine detail in the wood there. So what I'll do is put these six images up online. I'll put the raw, raw versions up online. Uh, so you can take a look at them if you want. You can download them. I'll zip them up and um, put them online uh, at, uh, at this address, the address shown below. And I'll link to it in the YouTube video as well. But uh, there you go. I mean, that's the some example images. Uh, that's the sort of magnification and the difference you can expect to see at minimal focal distance uh, using the EF25 II extension tube. And not. If you like what we do, please subscribe to the channel and we will catch you soon. From me for now, bye-bye.